welcome back to another video. Um, my name is Rowena, if you're new here. Uh, currently, I am filming in Los Angeles. I am at the Proper Hotel in West Hollywood, um, and I felt like the bathroom here was so beautiful and the lighting was really nice. Um, that's the shower over there, you have a tub. And then all the walls and like even the sink over here is like a light, light baby pink. Um, and I am right now about to go and have some Mexican food down the street and then I'm going to film a TikTok and some other stuff that I have to do. So I thought I would do a little makeup get ready with me. I already did my skincare. Um, I used this um, Lumen oil, face oil. This is one of my favorite products that I've been using recently. I got it from Finland. It's a Finnish brand and I bet you can find it online. It slides on so smoothly and so beautifully. Uh, the other thing I put on is, look at this, it's almost finished. I've had it for less than a month. Um, this is the other Lumen oil. This one is an oil cocktail. It's made out of all natural products and this is actually made out of berries and it's a glow serum. So you shake this up, becomes like a pink lemonade. And then I also added a face oil also from their line. Um, but for now, I'm gonna do a quick little very natural, nothing crazy makeup routine. Like, I don't think I'm even gonna put mascara. I've recently started hating putting mascara on and I don't know why. Like, I just like my look without the mascara recently. But anyways, I'm gonna do super simple, easy makeup. I'm gonna wet my little sponge over here like that. And I'm gonna dab it out a little bit. Alrighty, whoopsies, I dropped something. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's so echoey in here, and I feel like this is gonna be really loud, um, but maybe I can tune it down when I edit the video. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is gonna be my foundation, as you have all heard of, wow, it's literally gone. The logo is the Charlotte Tilbury um, something foundation um i'm using in the shade 4.5 you guys all know this so you'll be fine finding it mine is from sephora i don't put too much like very little like this couple dots up here i know i apply it weird but it's because i don't like putting a lot like i don't like what swiping the entire thing now I'm just gonna dab it into all right so I decided to step back here because there's literally a spotlight right here and look at how bad the lighting gets compared to this um, and I can still see everything pretty well so gonna use I've been using this concealer for years it lasts for so long it's kind of scary i feel like you should just get a new one just because um but this one is da -da -da, it's the born this way um it's a two-faced born this way multi-use so you can actually use it for sculpting and you can use it as a foundation and mine is in the shade almond but it is definitely at least a shade and a half too light for me but i do like the way it brightens so i kind of just do this i let this one sit for a couple seconds and then I do this like that. And there's this one girl on TikTok that taught me to like go upwards like this to give you a lift. I'm not a makeup genius, but let that sit for a little bit. And then after blending this, I actually add another concealer because I like that it's a little darker. And I don't like this like white washed out look under the eyes. <laughs> This one is, da -da -da, I think it's the Maybelline, Maybelline shade 25. I literally buy it off of CVS and it is very useful just cause I like it to be darker than it having that white shadow under. And what I'm going to do with this is make my line first, like my contour line, and then down here, and 
then I use a thicker part of the brush and go in lighter and then raise it upwards too. So this is like so strong and like when I first started using it, I wasn't realizing like how much I was adding. It's like a really good bronzer, but it's just so pigmented that it's like you can put too much and it can look really, really bad. Using the Hula bronzer also, I'm gonna just dab this in the corner and then I'm just gonna go right on the edge of the eyelid and just blend that in a little bit. That's pretty much it. And then same thing on this side. It's mainly on like that bone area. I feel like this one needs a little more. Next thing is gonna be, I'm using this Chanel, um, uh, what's it called? Blush. I don't know if this has a shade. Oh, it's called 55 in Love. It actually was my mom's and I started using it like a year ago. So she's had it for a really long time. You can kind of see like the bronzer and just um, how, how little I put and how much you can see it. And then this also is really pigmented and I like to dab it um, because this brush is like really sturdy and I like to take it up to where my bronzer line is and keep it rosy on the cheeks and then lift it up. Just like this, a dab on the nose maybe, a little on the forehead, and that's all. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier um, blah, 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 powder, and this makes a huge difference to just shaping your contour, believe it or not. So I'm using a wrong brush. I need like a more angled brush, but it's still good because it's pointy. And I go, you see like where you see that bronzer line, you're kind of going to go right from like your earlobe area. You're just going to do a straight line. Like that. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. I'm going to show you like I think this makes a huge difference and then obviously I'm just going to put it um, on my forehead a little bit around my nose under eye and then a dab more under this eye alrighty I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds not too long next thing I'm going to do is my highlight um, let me see where my brush is for that can't find my brush right now, but I'm gonna do take some of this. So I got this in like a sample box from Ulta. It's literally Ulta Beauty. I'm just gonna do a little bit like that over here. And a little bit over here. Kind of take it upwards. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is on my nose bridge. Sometimes I do contour my nose just with a little bit of the uh, bronzer that I used. But right now, I'm not doing that. Almost done. I'm just going to blend this in. It just like makes it more like prominent of a cheekbone. I don't know if you can see too well. And then last thing. And just keep it in that straight line. And blend this one out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Um, and the last, last thing we are going to do, I do not feel like doing mascara. It's just been bothering me. I don't know. It's been getting itchy. So I think I need a new mascara. I think it's dying. And I also don't like this brand because I wasn't able to get mine. I just bought a random one. Um, but I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel. You've all probably seen it. Um, I'm using my little brush. I don't like to fill in my eyebrows. I just like to brush them and I also don't pluck my eyebrows. I only pluck the middle area. So to just keep them looking thick. And next one. Um, even though I'm, I am using a makeup light, it's not coming out good. Um, and to finalize everything, I'm using this NYX um, 
NYX NYX um, natural lip liner. It is my absolute favorite. I have like four of them in case I lose them. Um, the shade is natural SPL810. And all I do is lightly lip line my lips like that. And up here. And then I fill it in very little. Spread it out a little bit. And I'm using this random lip gloss I've been using for ages also. Also by NYX. Um, it's just it's just a gloss. And I feel like I love gloss. I am not a matte person at all. I think it completes the look for your lips to look pretty glossy and healthy versus dry and matte. And that's everything. Still have to do my hair a touch. Got the smoothie from this place in LA. I don't know if you've been. It's called Dialogue Cafe. It was actually really good. The food was really good too. Oh girl. I just like sprayed. I'm gonna take you to the natural light. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I still feel a little washed out and I'm not sure why. It looks a lot darker in person, so it's just like the lighting that's going on today. Um, but this is the last final makeup look. I feel like if you want to be more natural, I would get rid of the lip, maybe just do a gloss um, or something, just more your lip color. Um, but this is kind of everything. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun filming it and please remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and please, please, please leave me in the comments videos that you would like to see next. Um, things you want from me, I always read them and I would love to see what you guys want so I can get some ideas and actually put it out there. Um, okay, sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for watching.